Fish eyes. Seriously, why aren't you out there fishing? You shouldn't be watching this. You should be on the water. I kid you not. We're getting reports flowing in from everywhere at the moment, and they're pretty darn good. Now, what better weather do you want? This is perfect temperatures. Uh, look, the rivers are clear enough. Uh, we'll go into that in a little bit uh, later in the report. But for example, Mawala, my goodness gracious me, we've been talking about it for the last two or three weeks. It's been very special. The odd crap day, we know that, you know. But majority of the time, plenty of fish and big fish. Really pleased with it. Surface lure action is really good down there, but I'm suggesting strongly, size down your surface lures a little bit. They seem to be working better on the moonwalkers, the pompadours, stuff like that, more so than the big surface lures. Just keep that one in mind. Casting lures, trolling, doesn't seem to matter. Bait fishing's probably okay. I haven't had any reports from the bait fishermen in the lake itself, but just down below the lake in the river, uh, very good bait fishing, excellent at the moment. Uh, the Hume Weir, how exciting is this? The yellow belly are fired up, and I mean they have fired up. Slow rolling soft grubs around, the little Lunker City paddle tail black grub, perfect. Uh, the gulp, Berkeley gulp, um, curly tail grub, whatever you like to call it, absolutely fantastic. They're doing really well. Uh, anywhere in the timber, just pull up to a tree. If you really know how to use your fish finder, uh, you'll see them on your side scan. Pull up to those trees and just slow roll a grub up from there. Tie up to the tree is fine. Uh, you can use the electric motor if you want to, doesn't really matter. Uh, getting some good reports from the river here. You can get in a fair few spots. Not every boat ramp or access point is uh, you know, possible to put your boat in, but have a look around. If it hasn't rained for a few days, it's not slippery, it's not a problem. Once it starts to drizzle rain, it gets a bit slippery, it gets a bit hard. But onto the fishing side of it, plenty of cod, no shortage of it. Bit of colour coming down, you may have noticed from that rain the other day, but it's not too bad. Uh, you could still lure fish if you wanted to, but the bait fishermen absolutely clean up when it's like this. Primo, absolutely perfect. A few yellow belly, a lot of cod, certainly worth the effort. Downstream from Wagga, much better than upstream. Upstream is a little bit coloured, but that'll change in the next week or two. Although they're not letting much water out of the dam, so it could take a little bit longer than that. Chumut River, absolutely kicking. Uh, it's nice and low. Well, it's up and down like a yo-yo, but when it's low, when it's under two, two under 3,000 megalitres, it fishes exceptionally well. Plenty of rainbows. The browns are just sh starting to show up, but the rainbows are there in big numbers. We're really pleased with that. And some good, sizable fish, and my goodness, do they fight. We got some, a heap of them the other day. Uh, small lures will do the job. Slim minnows, blades, doesn't seem to matter a great deal. Uh, little selters, things like that nature, good. Did see one about 55 come out the other day. Didn't catch it myself, but I did see one. Nice fish. Uh, Blowing Dam, certainly worth the effort at the moment. Few cod. Bit off the bank with uh, bait, yabbies in particular, the prime bait up there at the moment. Getting a few cod out of it, but the redfin are still moving. You're gonna have to hunt for them, not everybody's gonna catch them. So if you come back without catching them, don't say that it's not moving, because it is. So some people are doing extremely well. Uh, medium sized yabbies, not the tiny little yabbies, but medium sized yabbies, very good at the moment up there. Uh, and you've got to really hunt for them. Once you do, you find a school of bigger fish, you're right on the money. A few yellow belly getting caught as well. Wyangler, really pleased with it. Uh, getting plenty of fish out of it at the moment. Cod, yellows, trolling, casting, doesn't seem to matter. Even off the bank with bait, isn't too bad there. Uh, we're getting some good reports from Burrenjuk. It's starting to improve a little bit. It's not firing, and it hasn't fired much this year, but it's picking up a little bit. With a bit of luck, it might be like the Hume Weir. The yellows might start to fire up in the next few days. Keep our fingers crossed on that one. Try slow rolling grubs there. Or if that doesn't work for you, make sure you take some little yabbies and some shrimp and what have you. You should do okay. If you're going to troll at Burrenjuk, big spinner baits. Prime number one lure for up there. Or even uh, you know, drag a big hard body, you might do okay. Looks like we're going to have a great weekend ahead of us. This is the Complete English Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.